Hello, my name is Kateko Rakao. I'm the solutions developer here at DET. Today I'm going to show you how to apply for advanced and postgrad diploma using our online application system. To apply for advanced and postgrad diploma, go to our DET website, click on application registration information menu, navigate to application, and click on online application form. This will take you to this landing page where you're going to sign in into the online application system. But if you don't have um, the account, you need to create a temporary ID. For these testing purposes, I'm going to create a new temporary ID. Click on create temporary ID. Then you will be presented with a form where you're going to fill in your information. Make sure all your information is correct. Once you're happy with that, click continue. This is your confirmation email. An email will be sent with the temporary ID and the password that you need to use for signing up. Once you click on the link to confirm your email, you will be taken to this display. Enter your email address. Enter the temporary ID and then enter your password that was sent to you via email. Click on OK. The system will prompt you to reset your password. Please make sure that your password is a minimum of 8 characters. Click continue, then your password is reset. Click OK to sign in into the system. Now that you have a, an account, you click on click here to sign into your account. ID as your user ID. Enter the password you just reset. Then click sign in to continue. So this will be your landing page once you signed in into the application. Once you are logged in, click on apply for admission. Click on begin your application. Click the application type. Click the year you are applying for. Once you are happy with your selection, click on continue. This will be your welcome page. Make sure you read through the welcome page. This will guide you on how to submit your application. Please make sure you read the information provided on the welcome page, step one. Once you are done and happy, you can go to your personal details. Make sure all the details are correct. Then you go to step three. Complete choices of courses that you want to apply for. You are given four choices. Once you're done, move on to step four. This is where you complete your permanent address. Then you move on to step five. You complete your home address. If it's the same as permanent address, you can click on save. Then you move on to step six, the mailing address. Again, if it's the same as the permanent address, you can just click on the save as. 
Step seven, this is where you complete your contact details. Make sure everything is correct. Make sure that your email address is correct as well. Move on to step eight. Eight, complete your demographic details. Then you click on next to get to step nine. Complete your next of kin information. Step 10, your emergency contact. Step 11, your activities. Then you go to step 12, your tertiary education. Complete your tertiary ed education. The system will ask you, do you have any previous or current tertiary education? If no, you leave it as it is. If yes, you click on yes. This will prompt you to add additional details about the tertiary education. Complete this step so that you are able to move on the next step, step 13. On step 13, this is where you declare about your previous tertiary studies. Click yes, I have, or no, I have not. This will let you continue to step 14. This is where you complete your employment history. Then you move on to step 15. This is where you complete your academic references. Click on add references to add your references. Step 16, the system will prompt you to add your research details. Then you move on to your documentation steps, which is step 17. Step 17, this is where you're going to see all the requirement documents that you need to upload. Step 18, it's the student declaration and agreement. You need to accept or decline. Then you move on to the submission page. Once everything is completed, the button will be enabled and allow you to submit your application. I hope this video was helpful to you so that you are able to apply online successfully. So from me to you, good luck.